don't care who you rent from. The landlord must be held accountable for the state of their houses. We are now a month removed since Ferguson's mayor put property owners on notice, but living conditions at a spot in her city still questionable. Shoddy plumbing, broken appliances. That is what some North County renters say they are forced to live with. It's happening at Pleasant View Gardens Apartments. News Force Jenna Ray watching out for those who say this is not fair and it is not acceptable. Definitely not. And first, take a look at this video, you guys. That is a baby squirrel inside a tenant's apartment, an unwanted squirrel, rather. And many residents tell me they've seen cockroaches, rats, squirrels, and have barely heard anything from management. Some of them telling me that when they actually brought those concerns to the front office, they've been threatened with evictions. Okay. It wouldn't, it was at the point where so it was. that's off. Yeah, this is supposed to be off. You can't turn it off. Pleasant View Gardens tenant Eric Graves tells me his bathtub faucet runs like that 24-7. He's lived in the same unit for four years now and says his faucet was fixed once, but it's been like this for months, months. We've been like that for months. And that's not all. It was broke off in for 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 years for for two years it was broke and they wouldn't come for life of me i wouldn't understand why they couldn't just come and fix the damn thing graves says eventually yeah, maintenance man, came a so fix when, he says took when, two minutes said, another tenant tells us he's experienced the same thing as far as them keeping up the maintenance they didn't you call them come fix it up they wouldn't come take three or four days, then they come in and like patch instead of doing the repair. Then they had a, a, a mold problem. Rudolph Childs oh lived at the Ferguson Apartments for yeah. seven years. Tell me why you moved. Because of the conditions and they wouldn't repair. Didn't want to move, but my, my, my daughters and my son, they wanted me out of here because of the, the smell and they didn't want me to get, you know, sick or anything. Childs and Graves aren't the only tenants expressing concerns. Dozens of Google reviews reflect similar conditions inside Pleasant View Gardens units. We took these concerns straight to management today. You see a woman walking out of the leasing office, and when the woman inside sees me and the camera, she closes the door and locks it. After knocking for several minutes without an answer, I called the office. I'm a reporter with News 4. Um, I'm on the property. I tried to knock on the door to talk with someone. They gave me a number to call the Sansone Group, the St. Louis-based real estate firm that owns Pleasant View Gardens. I'm giving you a call about uh, some residents at one of your properties who have made some uh, complaints to us. Several tenants tell me this lack of response from both management and its ownership is typical. This is not new. They... they, they do not do anything about. Don't move and can't feel. So this is Pleasant View Gardens Google review page. You can see here a 2.8 review. There's dozens of reviews on this page. Many negative ratings in the last year, but a few years ago there are some five star reviews, but we're told by residents that it was actually under different management. Now speaking of this management, here is the Sansone Group's page for Pleasant View Gardens. They advertise it as apartment living at its best. The site also states renovations are underway with up to windows, siding, and more. And you guys, of course, I was there today. I didn't see any of that. This is unfortunately not the first time we've seen issues with this property either. News 4 was out there about a month ago hearing concerns from residents. They told me the same thing. Anytime they brought concerns to the management, evictions were threatened to their face. We know you'll keep following it, and it seems like management has some answering to do, that's yeah, for sure. Definitely. Right. We'll keep following up. All right, Jenna, thank you.